Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to compile VBA code using the Danex VBA compiler. In this tutorial, we will go over how to install and use the Danex VBA compiler, as well as some of its benefits. To get the Danex VBA compiler, we will first go to the Danex homepage, which is located at donex.com. Once you are here, continue to the VBA compiler section. Then click on the green Download VBA Compiler Free Trial button. From here, proceed to download the VBA Compiler for Excel installer by clicking on the green Download button. Once the installer for the VBA compiler has finished downloading, go to your download location. This is usually the downloads folder by default. Launch the installer and proceed through the installation process by clicking the next button. To use the Denex VBA compiler, you must read through and accept the license agreement associated with it and then click the next button. The VBA compiler uses the MinGWGCC C compiler as a backend compiler. So read through and accept the associated license agreement and press next to continue the installation. On this page of the installer, you will select the installation location of the VBA compiler as well as whether you want a start menu or a desktop shortcut. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will leave everything in their default values. You can press next to continue the installation. Finally, you can press the install button to install the product. Congratulations. Once you have reached this page, you have successfully installed the Danex VBA compiler. You may press on the finish button to finalize the installation and close out of the other windows. To ensure that the Danex VBA compiler functions correctly, we must first check and make sure that the trust access to VBA is enabled in Excel. To do this, we will launch an instance of Excel, go to Options, go to the Trust Center section and press on the Trust Center Settings button. From here, we will go to the Macro Settings section and under Developer Macro Settings, there is an option that states Trust access to the VBA project object model. Make sure this option has a check mark next to it. Once that is done, press OK, press OK again. Now you may close out of the Excel instance. Now we will compile a sample.xls file using the next VBA compiler. This sample.xls file is called approx.py and it can be found among the examples provided under the Danex VBA compiler downloads. This file calculates pi using 1 billion iterations of the Leibniz formula for pi. As you can see, when I pull up the macros, all of the formulas are visible in their default state. This is module 1. This is sheet 1, and this workbook is empty. When the button on the spreadsheet is pressed, the calculation begins. Once the calculation is completed, the calculation time will be displayed here.
As you can see, before compilation, the calculation time is over 40 seconds long. Once you are done editing your file, save and close out of it. To compile a file, you must first open the VBA compiler. If you conducted the installation as shown in this tutorial, there should be a shortcut to the VBA compiler on your desktop. Double click on it or right click on it and open it. Once you open the VBA compiler, you will see these options. We will go over the basic options and features in this video and save the more advanced ones for a different time. The Excel file with VBA field is for the location of the file that you wish to compile. You may write in or paste the location of the file right into the field or you can use the button next to the field to browse to the file instead. In Windows 10, limited access rights may cause the compilation to fail, so we recommend that the target file be located in the My Documents folder or any of its subfolders. The Output folder field is for the location of the compilation result. Once again, you may write in or paste the location right into the field or use the button next to the field to browse to it instead. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using the desktop. In the Target Excel Bitness option, you must choose between 32 and 64 bit. This is the targeted bitness of the Excel platform. This is because Excel can only load a Windows DLL file which is compatible with the Excel's bitness. In the C Compiler Optimization option drop down menu, you can select your level of optimization. O0 is no optimization. O1 is minimal optimization. O1 is the default option. O2 and O3 are increasing levels of optimization. OFAST is the maximum level of optimization. OS is optimization for the compiled file size. Keep in mind that greater levels of optimization may make your file function improperly. Always double check your file after compilation. Once you are done adjusting these settings, go ahead and click on the Compile button. Once you have reached this window, you have successfully compiled your file. Now we will go to the Output Folder location by pressing on the Open Output Folder button. Here, we can open the compiled XLS file. As you can see, there is no original VBE code in the compiled XLS file. This is because it was compiled into the binary code of the DLL file. There is absolutely no way to restore your VBA code from that DLL file. Instead of VBA methods, you now see the calls of the compiled functions. Furthermore, when we run the calculation on the compiled XLS file, it is apparent that it not only works, but it works more than 10 times faster than the original uncompiled XLS file. Now you should be able to test how the VBA compiler works with your VBA code. You can do this by downloading the free trial version of the Danax VBA compiler. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the VBA compiler.